I see this team winning the Big West and winning the Big West tournament. And I say that not uh, cocky or uh, uh, unrealistic. I say that as a coach of a team who's that's their goal and a program that has been built that needs to be contending and doing those things and being competitive every season. And with all these new guys, is that realistic? I don't know. You know, we could certainly come up short, but that's, that's what I see and that's what I expect. And I don't think you can achieve those things if you don't have those expectations as a coach, if you're not demanding the, their, your players to be thinking of those visions. So maybe it won't be realistic, but I'm not gonna uh, succumb to that until somebody physically goes and takes that away from us. The attitude's got me real excited. I think, I think we have a group that really likes each other, a group that's very coachable, it's been fun to be around. Um, those, those are make it very exciting. But you know, with the, all the newness comes a lot of newness and trying to get them all on the same page. But, they're a very willing group, um, and uh, I think there's a lot of length, a lot of uh, physical talent to work with. So as a coach, you know, that, that's very exciting. It is comforting in that, you know, I think they're both all caliber players. They're both proven. They've been through the grind. Uh, uh, they're both, they both, you know, have are great character guys that, you know, are great competitors. Uh, but they've done it individually. They haven't done it together. I think a really unfun fact is that they've both been in our program for four years and they've never played a league game together. So hopefully this is a year we can put it together, have them together, and, uh, and just let them play off each other because they're, they're, they both complement each other very well and it's very exciting to, to hopefully have them all healthy uh, and, and together uh, when we hit league. Uh, Mason is in very good shape. I think he, he sacrificed going home to Texas this summer to stay here and train. And I think our uh, Jamie Hegel and our, our strength and conditioning staff did a great job with our whole team this summer. Um, and they all seem to um, uh, have come back stronger and, and in best shape of their lives. It's just really evident on Timidayo and uh, and uh, Mason, because of the size, uh, their bodies have changed probably the most. You know, obviously his role at Gonzaga was as a backup, you know, and, and so, uh, you know, he came here to not be a backup, and he, I don't think he will be here. I think mean, he's a prominent uh, fixture of our program. You know, he brings to us a, a, a mindset, an attitude that Gonzaga had, a winning, of doing the small things to, to make big things like go to a, a national championship game happen and uh, he sacrificed a lot in that program to help them do that and hopefully here he can flourish and and, get, and reap some of those rewards in our program and, and now not only do we not have an established point guard but but you know our, our junior college point guard uh, Deshaun Booker is, is a distributor he's a pass first point guard so that's totally different than what we've had but he's also longer, he's a better rebounder, he's, he's a different type of point guard, but hopefully you know, that, that will be something that will, will be a strength of our team as we come to, to, to the season ending. You know? uh, and then uh, I think Edon Maksumi, the, the point guard from Finland who's a freshman, has been one of our biggest surprises. Uh, uh, he is a scoring point guard, but uh, he's again different than any of those three we had before, but he's a freshman that, that plays older than a freshman, being the starting point guard on the Finnish national team. He's got experience against grown-ups grown, grown -ups and, and men, and uh, he plays that way. He's just, he makes the right play at the right time, and he's still adjusting to the athleticism of Division One basketball, but he's, he's a very quick adjuster. He's made great strides the first month here, and we're really excited about both those, those young men. I, I'm hoping for a, a long career and a lot of improvement for him. He's, He's kind of that 6'9 that guy that you're not going to get at Long Beach State as a finished product. He's, uh, he's got great ball skills, he can shoot out to three. You know, at 6'9 he handles the ball well, he's a good passer. He's got a really good offensive feel. Quentin Swapshire is that player that just does everything you ask him to do. And he's a senior and he's got experience now and a veteran. And you know, we can rely on him at the power forward or the center position to come in and just rebound and defend and, and not screw things up. And, and that is, is a very big statement. Well, I think uh, this one is a little more uh, realistic in the fact that it is certainly tough and probably one of the top 
uh, 10, 20 schedules in America, but it's not insurmountable. And I think we've gone a little bit over the edge last year, and I, I take blame for that, adding the Louisville and Wichita State games into the first week of the season at the, at, in August. Um, and, and did not give us time to practice or, you know, between travel and games uh, and to get better and to adjust. So, you know, I think the schedule really sets up a lot better. It is certainly uh, nothing to be ashamed of as far as the toughness of it when you have, you know, maybe number one and two with Arizona and uh, Michigan State uh, in the first month and also West Virginia in the top ten in a lot of polls. So. You know, you've got uh, certainly challenges. Missouri might be a top 20 team. We open with them in the Advocare. So, but I think it also has a mix of other games where our kids, you know, can, can go into those games and uh, play it at, at our level too, the, the, the Big West, or the Southern Utahs. San Francisco, you know, is a, you know, would, would be a high level Big West team. We open on the road there. A uh, great challenge for us. And then to have Fresno State and Stanford at home uh, in the same weekend is probably the best weekend of basketball that we have had in the 10 years I've been here. So uh, I, I really like the schedule because I think it's challenging but yet manageable that we don't you know, lose confidence along the way. Uh, you know, we play good basketball. There's certainly some wins out there too.